Jersey. And that was our representatives. These two people were our rep. So they had all this stuff that they're leaking. And then when it came time to look at the records, like where the police said and the uh, Capitol Guard said that I supplied, think of it, that I recommended as many soldiers or National Guard as you want. 10,000. If you had 500, you wouldn't have had a problem. There wouldn't have been a J6, but Nancy Pelosi and the group didn't want it. Anyway, so they have testimony to all of that that I did not attack the Secret Service agent in the front of the car. You know, these are strong people. And I supposedly went to the driver and I grabbed him around the neck. And he rebuffed me. And then I went to the other guy, who I think is a black belt in karate. And he's slightly younger than me. Maybe 35 years, 40 years, 50 years. And I grabbed him around the neck and said, he's a black belt in karate. They know how to get somebody from around their neck. They would have gotten like this, and that would be the end of that. Actually, I had a friend that said, you shouldn't dispute that. That makes you look like the toughest cookie we've ever seen. You should have let that go on. But the fact is, it never happened. It was all made up. And that was proven to be made up. It proved to be a false story. And they, they deleted and destroyed all of that information. Every ounce of it. We're dealing with a corrupt government. We have a corrupt country. Our elections are corrupt. Our borders are open. Our borders are going to be closed very soon. November 5th is going to be the most important day in the history of our country. Now, when I say that, because my people are always saying, do this, do this, because we're fighting for America, DonaldJTrump.com. I hope everybody watching right now, DonaldJTrump.com, because it really makes a difference. Uh, they have a lot of money on the other side. I don't know where they get it. Nobody knows where they get it, but for some reason they get money. But they're not on the side of our country. In many ways, I think they hate our country. Who on earth can want open borders where people are allowed to pour in from countries unknown, from places unknown, from languages that we don't even, that we haven't even heard of. We have people sitting in schools with languages where very few people have ever even heard of these languages. It's not like Spanish or French or Russian. Languages unknown. We have people coming from corners of the globe and many of them are not good people. Many terrorists, record levels of terrorism, record levels of terrorists have come into our country. Record. They've never seen anything like it. You know, there was a report that in 2019, I don't believe this, by the way, the media gave it, and it was good for me, believe it or not. They said in 2019, there were no terrorists recorded that came into our country. I don't believe that. I don't think that's possible. But they actually, 2019 was a Trump year. I don't believe that that could be possible. But they said no terrorists came into our country. So let's say it was close. Let's say it was close. But now record levels of terrorists, record levels, the highest level we've ever seen of terrorists are pouring into our country. You have China with just in the last few months, 29,000 people came in and I looked at them on a line and they look like perfect soldiers. They're almost all male from 19 to 25. It looks like a recruiting exercise. They have beautiful tents. They have propane stoves. They have cell phones, the best you can buy. I said, what's going on? It looks like they're building an army right in our country. Now, I don't think that would happen, right? We're losing our country. And I really think that this is an event, what took place yesterday with this judge. Look, we have a conflicted, but he's a crooked judge. And you'll understand that. And I say that knowing that it's very dangerous for me to say that and I don't mind because I'm willing to do whatever I have to do to save our country and to save our Constitution I don't mind